Hey, Dr. B here, and here's an introduction to energy. We can define it as the ability to do work or to produce heat. But unlike chemical processes, this is not involving matter necessarily. It could be just an energetic component, and it makes it a little more challenging to measure. Typically, it's done by temperature change. So if you had a chemical process and you used that to heat water, for example, you can measure how much energy is involved as long as there's no loss when you do so. If you had a liter of water and you needed to change it by one degree Celsius, that would require 4,184 joules or 1,000 uh, scientific calories, which is very different from the capital C here. It's also about 4 BTUs, British thermal units. It is one nutritional calorie and it is less than a hundredth of a, a little more than a hundredth of a kilowatt hour. So these are tiny units of energy. These are big units of energy. Use these for just maybe small electrical processes. Use this for battleships or power plants or huge amounts of energy. But let's compare it to the amount of energy you would gain if you consumed a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. It checks in at about a thousand nutritional calories, so that's a lot of joules. Using these conversion factors, we can calculate that that's over four million joules, over, well, about a million scientific calories, about 4,000 BTUs, and just about one kilowatt hour. This is a brief introduction to energy.